Ja, da. Good morning and welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. It's winter time out there. It's a little cold or a tidbit cold because it's actually been a little bit warm. But if you're freezing and you want to warm up, the library is Yay. the place to go. See, you can <laughs> read a good book. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is power. You can Absolutely. learn some important things. Yes. And then, you know, perhaps you could end up meeting Katrina, who is one of the librarians at Yay. Park City Library, and she could tell you a thing or two. I mean, how would you not want to talk to Katrina? Look at her bright, vibrant color that she's wearing And today. it's so cozy as well. So <laughs> if you want to squeeze, come on over. I'll <laughs> Katrina, give you a good hug. she got you. Yeah. There is so many things happening. I was mm -hmm. looking at the event page happening at the Park City Library. You guys have something basically every day. Every day. You know, um, especially, you know, people who are visiting in town, go to their libraries back home, want something to do. We have people who come to all the programs who live here. It's awesome. We do love supporting you need the to have a library card to go to these events? No. All of our events are open to the public. Anybody can come. Anyone is welcome to use our facility in any way, except take books out if they have, don't have a library card. So open access to everybody. That's very convenient. Yeah. What is on the calendar coming up? So this Saturday from 1 to 3, I believe, um, we have a Reading Against Racism program, which is being spearheaded by our director, Adrian Juarez. Uh, so we're having some books that um, have have snippets or maybe memorable quotes about racism and we're marking those off if people don't have anything prepared but if anybody has anything they'd like to read about racism they're welcome to bring it in step up to the mic and then there'll be a community conversation about it that's such a great topic because i will say when i was in college any sort of, of racism type of class mm -hmm. it always turned into it's such an interesting debate yes. because there's a lot of people that grow up certain ways and you don't know how other people People are affected by certain things so I think mm -hmm. it opens up a lot of eyes absolutely and just having a candid conversation about it you know that's the best way to learn is to view other people's perspectives and get a little empathy going on yeah you know? I love that you do this get a little <laughs> empathy <laughs> see I told you she was awesome Yay. there's a Minecraft club that was just started yes. I wish you had video to show these kids in action oh because gosh. they get into it listen so we had it last night we have it in the story time room we had like 13 preteen boys <laughs> who are like where are you guys I don't see you what's going on I'm building a house like and they're just yelling and then there's me and one he's a little bit older than the rest and we're like shh we can Relax. all hear you we are three feet away from you <laughs> we can all use our inside voices right now and play Minecraft at the same time <laughs> but it's super fun you know like they all rally together they're like I'm really good at making this or I'm good at finding this material and using their powers together for good in the world of Minecraft it's do fun. you have to be a preteen or can you be an adult and attend this oh, Minecraft you can totally club be an adult. anybody can come do you know Minecraft? You play it? I mean, I have just started playing it, so I'm like, I don't look like a total loser when right. I'm playing with these guys. Right, you got to be able to talk to these kids in the correct manner. You don't want to oh, say yeah. the wrong things. No. I am not familiar with Minecraft oh. at all. I just know people get into it. No, and the thing is, I feel like I've just sort of like scraped the surface, and I'm like, I don't even know what to mine. There's so many options. The world's your oyster. But it's super fun, and the kids have been teaching me a lot, and they're super awesome teachers too, which is another awesome thing about the program. It's interesting that Minecraft can be educational. Totally. And there's even, we haven't gotten to it yet because I'm just waiting for them all to calm down just a little about it. And they're like, oh, it's okay. We're just going to the library to play Minecraft instead of being like, we're going to the library to play Minecraft. <laughs> but they can do coding and set up certain things in code for their world. You know, I can set up different obstacles for them to overcome. So there's lots of educational um, aspects to the game. It's awesome. Is there anything else going on at the library? Yes, so next Tuesday we're doing our one book, one community with the author Ruby Cepetis coming. Um, she wrote Salt to the Sea, and we're partnering with the Park City Education Foundation, uh, Summit County Library, and Dolly's Bookstore. It's going to be fabulous. Um, she'll start speaking at 7, so if you want to come a little early, grab some seats for you at your book club. It'll be in the Jim Santee Auditorium next Tuesday. You nailed that. Dude, it's, <laughs> the book is so good. It's so good. I cannot wait. I am a big fan of book clubs. I yes. just recently joined one. Actually, the Jazz, Epe Udo, no. who is, a, yeah, he's a forward and center yes. on the Jazz team, and yes. he has his own book club. So it's very valuable. A Jazz love it. player that's really into books as well. I love it.
All right, well, great. I really appreciate you coming on the show. Yeah. And I was doing some research. I noticed yeah. that this just shows how important reading is to Utah. Mm -hmm. You go through the history on the website of the Park City Library. Did you know, I'm going to give you a fact, did you know that Park City Library was opened up before Utah even got its statehood? That's awesome. Fun fact. I love it. Reading is important. You need to get around to so it. So important. Thank you for joining us Thank you so on much the Mountain Morning me. Show. We've had so much fun. Yay! Yay today. And Katrina, you've just been a, a ray of sunshine. My pleasure. <laughs> and again, to get more information about all the events happening at the Park City Library, just go to parkcitylibrary.org. It's Friday. The weekend has arrived. Katrina is clapping. You don't I'm see so her. I'm so excited. Yay! Yay! And I just want to say, Diego, thank you so much. He's busy getting Yay. some more coffee. He's been my coffee guru today. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching mm -hmm. on Park City Television, the Mountain Morning Show. You have a great Friday. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. You don't have coffee? Sorry. <laughs>